Hey y'all, welcome to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel. Today we're going to start a fire using my DIY Extreme Weather Fire Starter. Just to show you how it works. If you like what you see, consider subscribing, giving me a thumbs up. And in the description box below will be how to make them and why I feel they're so great. So, <clears throat> this is the Extreme Weather Fire Starter. It's about, you know, it's smaller than my, my pinky. They last for about 10 to 15 minutes a piece, and they work in all types of weather. They're waterproof, they're heat resistant, as far as melting in your backpack and stuff. But basically, you unfold it, you roll it out, all right, and you save this piece of metal and you kind of make it into a little cup so that it you're not wasting any of the fluid out of the fire starter. Then you take your knife or your fingernails or whatever, I'm going to use a knife, and you put a little split on the end, cutting it open, and you'll find inside, alright, you'll find inside that there's some cotton, and you want to pull that cotton out and fluff it up a little bit on the end not pulling it completely off but just getting it out there so it can catch a spark or you can light it with your lighter something like that all right you place it on the piece of metal so none of the fuel gets wasted and then you take your ferrocium rod or your lighter you can light it at this point or you can use a ferro rod put a little bit of shavings down on it give it a little spark and there it will start up as you see it going and then you're able to take the fire still in the fin uh, in the tin foil and move it over to your pre-made fire now I'm burning some stuff that I got to get rid of so I'm not using sticks and twigs and stuff, but you can, and this will do it. Like I said, this will last for 10 to 15 minutes. And then you just place it down in your fire where it will eventually be able to catch your tinder on fire. As you can, a little fast movement there, but let's see if we can, you can see it kind of glowing down there and if you give it a few minutes because it's still an early start it, it takes a little while to really get going but at this point it's pretty wind resistant um, and the more it burns the more wind resistant it will get but it'll eventually start your fire guys great little fire starter works great for all weather, all kinds of stuff, really does its job, does it great. So if you like what you saw, and it seems like a great DIY fire starter for yourself, get down in, or get into the description box. There'll be links in there on more information on them and how to actually make them. So guys, there it's going starting so at the end of the day guys quick easy effective cheap and better than most store-bought fire starters I truly believe but you can be the judge of that watch the other videos and remember God's good and God bless